So, we are one day out from living on the boat. Do you wanna sail away? I wanna sail away. Do you wanna sail away with me today? Do you wanna sail away? That has to get with mom. We can't just like give away my wedding dress. <laughs> it's not yeah. good. I'm afraid if I put it on the boat, we'll get in trouble. Well, Kara can sell your wedding dress. She sold hers. I don't want to sell my wedding dress, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and you're taking it. Do <laughs> not put it. It's going in. Luke's going to wear it when he gets married. It's fine. <laughs> We got piles and piles and piles and just piles. You can't throw away your wedding dress. Yeah, just put it in the van. They'll never know. Anyway, oh. this is the most stressful thing in the history of the world. So it's all part of the boat. Yeah, this is the boat pile. Granted. There's a whole lot of stuff that comes out. I mean, most of these tubs are going to get given away. I hope. There's like stuff that's in like vacuum packs and all that stuff. Seek, are you ready? He's ready. Whatever. I'm not ready. We are in the thick of battle. Final day to get out of the house. We've been building up this for a long time, and we spent six months hardcore getting rid of stuff, selling things, preparing for this, and in the last two months, just crazy, giving stuff away, selling stuff on Craigslist, donating things, throwing things away, and I thought, like, I thought, man, we're doing really good. We're, we're going to be in good shape when it comes time. God damn, we got so much stuff. So, Lauren's ready to burn the whole place down. But we're getting close. The place just looks like a tornado hit it, kind of. Still got to get all this crap out of here. This is not easy. It's not easy getting rid of enough stuff to live on a boat. It sounds easy. It's freaking hard. It's really freaking hard. We are going to pack us all the stuff on the boat. We've we've donated truckloads today. We got a trunk full of stuff. Yeah. Giving them away. All the stuff that doesn't fit on the boat. Which is a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff won't fit on even a big boat. At least not if you want to live like a human being. We're going to pack all this stuff onto the boat. We're going to go down there. Get aboard, celebrate, have a drink. And then tomorrow, we're gonna deal with it. You know, some of it's legit stuff that's gotta come with us. But man, there's a lot of stuff that, we're literally just gonna have to throw stuff away tomorrow. Probably pile some piles of it down to the Goodwill down the street from where the boat is or into the dumpster. So wish us luck. We're so close. No, we're not. I can't reach. Such River's place. having a great time. Yeah, he loves this. The best day ever. Throwing, throwing beer away. That's that's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, throwing that beer, beer away. We did it. We're in the car. Uh-huh. We, we uh, made it five wow. minutes outside of our neighborhood. That place is so fun. And then we're eating ice cream in the car, and it seems like it's probably going to be a really bad idea. It's freaking 9 o'clock mm -hmm. at night, but we still got to drive two hours to Fort Lauderdale. Just got onto the boat. It is like 11.30 right now. 
no, it's midnight. So, we made it, we did it. It was just a super stressful, stupid day. So, it feels really good to like be here. Now we've got all day tomorrow that we've got to dig out everything and still give away like half of what we brought because we brought way too much. We made it, we're on the boat and it's our boat. We have nowhere else to be, so it's really cool. And we're excited, I'm excited. We don't have anything to drink to celebrate right now because everything is literally still packed away. But we're here. Good morning. Say good morning. It's the morning and everything is still just as crazy as it was last night Yeah. at midnight when we got in. And we don't really have any food yet on the boat, so. Yes, we, we have a other truck, but it's raining. Yeah. We don't want to go out there. So we're eating some fruit snacks and some trail mix. So anyway, here's our boat. It's a mess. But we have one. I have been feeling subhuman the entire time since we got here. I get these insane headaches when uh, the weather turns severely one way or the other. And <laughs> I took some kind of medication that the uh, previous owner left on the boat for migraines. And it seems to have worked. So I'm starting to feel human again. Got a little uh, clusters and ginger. Got a shower. Still raining like hell, so we haven't unpacked the truck oh, at all. But it's okay. we'll get the fishes. <sighs> yesterday was just such a day. I can't even I can't even tell you how hard of a task it is. Rivers, no more goldfish. They don't eat them. Rivers feeding goldfish to the pigeon <laughs> to try to move onto a boat from a normal house life. And we had already like scaled down the stuff that we owned so far over the last two moves, knowing that we were going in this direction. And it still is an overwhelming amount of stuff. And we're literally, as we unpack, going to have to give away half of what's on that truck because there's no way it's going to go on the boat. And we don't want it. Like, that's the thing. It's just. We'll get Brent to feed the goldfish tomorrow. It's not easy. There's no way to convey how hard it is to fit your life on a boat when you're used to living the normal American life. But by God, we're gonna do it. Just so we know how crazy full our truck is. Can we see this? Oh my gosh, packed to the brim. Also, Eric took his shirt off because it's raining out and he didn't want to get wet. Somebody else decided that they wanted their shirt off. Yeah, it's you. First home cooked meal on the boat. Did it. it was a struggle. <laughs> yeah, this is what our galley looks like. Just like crazy. We're making progress though, actually. Getting some stuff put away. Throwing away a lot of stuff. Giving away a lot of stuff. Watching a little Mulan because it was the only. DVD we could find currently that this guy might like. And he seems to like it. You're kind of staring vacantly in his face right now. He's real tired. So yeah, we got a little mac and cheese with some tuna and peas. Does the trick every time. So easy. So we're on day two of moving onto the boat. And it's not any better than it was yesterday. Actually, I would say, um, at least cleanliness wise in the boat, it's way worse. We had to get everything out of the, the U-Haul. So now everything is officially on the boat, but there's not enough space for it here. The only thing that I would say that is better is that I got a shower today. And I changed my underwear twice, actually. Not for any reason. I just 
didn't want it to. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of insane, as you can tell, with a kid. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit insane, too. But, uh, I mean, everybody knows moving sucks. It's true. It's not any better to move onto a boat. Uh, besides the fact that we're trying to leave in three days. Well, two days, kind of. I don't know. We're trying to leave tomorrow. Um, and so without having things in their places, it's going to be really hard to leave. Because um, we've got probably, I don't know, I think Eric said a 35-hour sale. So... It's just, I don't, I don't know how we're going to do it. We're talking about leaving it by 10 tomorrow. Oops, you okay? 7 o'clock right now. We need to eat dinner and take a break because it's just, it's been an insane day. We've done nothing but work. So we're going to do that and then we're going to get back at it. Eric wants to change the sump pump, I think. Bilge pump. I don't know. A pump. He wants to change pump uh, before we leave. And I have to get literally everything somewhere. So, I don't know. How's your balloon? Careful, that's the full drink. Alright. Cecilia! You're breaking my heart. I had to do it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this was a bad... It looks bad. better than the last couple of colors that we've showed you guys. We're leaving today. Supposedly. Yeah, we're leaving today. Yeah. Even if it's like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to check all the basics because... I don't know. There's some, there's some labels on some maintenance items and they, they say like 1218 or 218. So, over a year for a few things. Um, and I know the, the main belt, alternator belt, uh, I mean, it's just the belt for everything. It's showing wear, so putting a new belt on. I'm putting a new impeller in, even though this one actually does look fine. But I'm gonna put the new impeller in anyway, just to be sure. Uh, clean the sea strainer. That's pretty much it, motor-wise. Getting to the impeller is a whole hell of a lot harder on this boat. Mo, mo, bo, mo problems. We pretty much got to take apart the inside of the sink here to get to the, the impellers on the, the water pumps on the back. And to get to the access panel, I want to get it out. I got to remove this pipe. And then in, Inso discovered that this seal's a little bit bad. But So that's how you get to all the stuff on this side. And uh, right there. It's a water pump. You have to take a, that, that hose completely off. So yeah, not quite as simple of an operation as on the little uh, on the little Yanmar where it's just sitting right there on the front. That's okay. I'm getting it done. Better safe than sorry. See if you got anything. Reel in, see what you got. Did you catch anything? You got a fish! So, this is Cooley's, Cooley's landing. I don't know where we've been for the last three days, trying to get our shit together. Very nice. Just a little, kind of a park. It also has a nice uh, private shower. So the reason you're hearing all that jabbering is because we are getting ready to depart. And we're a little nervous about it. Here, I'll show you why. So we've got current going that way. We got wind coming in this way. And there's an air show today, so there's tons of traffic, and it's a Saturday. You can hear the uh, airplanes. 
So there's just lots going on up and down the canal. We'll see, it's, it's a pretty decent current. Maybe not. But that's the bridge that we have to go under immediately. So, I'm trying to figure out if we should call him first and you know be like hey dude we're we're pulling out of our slip we've only got one line tied requesting an opening see if he'll do it and then we just pull out or do we just try to go upstream which might be kind of hard and uh see if we can turn around someplace but with all the traffic that sounds that sounds much better to me so we really only got one line doing much of anything that's that one right there so i think what we're going to do is get it forward use bow thruster this direction and uh see if we can get it to point up river Nice plan. See what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. It's a win-win. Either we do great and we're happy, or we screw up and you guys get a fun show. We'll see. Join us next week to see if we improve our record at docking maneuvers to one and one. And as always, please subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a like. Cheers.